Uh, my goal is to be the first to represent the United States in the 2012 Olympic Games. Uh, my name is Patricia Manuel, 25 years old. I'm from Gardena, California. Um, I'm currently a nationally ranked top boxer um, aiming for the Olympics. I train six days a week, two times each day. In the morning we do cardio, which is generally um, like sprint training or swimming. And then uh, we'll come back to boxing, uh, depending on what day it is. We either spar, um, we hit the bag, do drills, um, work on techniques, stuff like that. Um, I started boxing in 2003. Um, I was really fat. I was 180 pounds. <laughs> I had done some martial arts before, and um, I went down to a boxing gym when I was younger, and I thought, hey, this is really cool. You know, when I turned 17, I don't know why 17, um, I wanted to start boxing. Um, it's going to be very difficult for the Olympic Games. They're only allowing 36 women in the whole world in three weight classes. That means 12 girls per those three weight classes can qualify. It's going to be the best of the best, and it's going to be really, really cutthroat. There's a lot of discrimination across the board from organizations and just from people in general. I mean, it's 2010 and we still have people thinking that women can get hurt in the ring worse than men or that women aren't capable of withstanding beatings. You know, I mean, I think people need to come around to realize that we're just as equal. My name is Roberto Luna. Okay. Patricia, I've been training her for about five years now. Yeah, for, obviously, she's a female, but she's a fighter. To me, she's just a fighter. You know, I treat her like I, treat, I would treat anybody else in the gym, but the difference between her and other fighters is that she's, she's extremely determined and, and disciplined. I think her biggest strength would be uh, her mentality. She's extremely strong, extremely strong. She's tenacious. She's going to make you feel extremely uncomfortable. So if you're not prepared for that, which um, the majority of females that she fights are not, then you're going to be in for a long, long night with this girl. She's going to be the first female fighter to represent the United States. At the Olympics, I, know, I mean, you know, we're we're working towards that, but I know that with her work ethic, I mean, it's going to be hard to stop her.